Welcome to the Royce. I trust you're having a blessed week even as we continue to conclude this month of February, the month of love. Uh, for those who are single, love doesn't only mean love uh, in a relationship, it also means love across board. And I hope that you've had a blessed month. Yani, this year is really running. I don't know where the days are going to, but we thank God. I am Grace Michere, the host of The Royce, and I'm blessed to be uh, gracing your screens once again. And today I'd like us to talk about failure. Let's just have a discussion about failure. Because many people say, I feel like a failure, but I don't think we understand really the importance of failure. Importance, yes, failure is important because failure is not the opposite of success. Failure is a very, very important part of success. How? Because it is by failing that we learn how to do the same thing better. And as we get better with every day, that is how people become experts in a field. They don't become experts only because of studying. Studying sharpens the skill, but you have to practice and make mistakes and learn from them and keep going so that you can become an expert and an authority in your field. So failure is not a bad thing. Failure is a very integral, foundational part of success. Many of the successful people that you look at, may they be, be they businessmen, entrepreneurs and, and women, um, Anyone who has succeeded in whatever they do, they will tell you, I failed here. This is what I learned and I, got, I moved forward with that lesson. Then I failed this other time. This is what I learned from it and this is how I came out of it and so on and so forth. And the lessons we carry through the failures are the ones that keep us, build our character, build our capacity so that when you reach the top like these men and women have, that character has been built. You have the capacity to take success and success not to consume you and to finish you off. So the first thing about failure is that failure is a very important part of success. It is not the opposite of failure. It is not the opposite of success, but it is a very important part of success. Um, <clears throat> the second thing about failure is that failure, take failure as an opportunity to learn. I heard of this daughter who is now very, she's in her 20s and she's very successful in business. And she was talking about her father and she was saying when they were in school, their father would come in the evening and ask them, what did you fail at today? And they used to find it weird. What did you fail at? As we are used to maybe our parents, especially in Kenya and in Africa, telling us, what did you succeed at? How much did you score? You know, but this father used to ask, what have you failed at today? So with time, over time, they used to find it weird. They didn't fail at anything. He was disappointed. Why haven't you failed at anything? But later, they came, uh, they got older, they got into high school, and they would, when the father would ask, they would say, oh, today I tried out basketball, and I failed so bad, and all of that. And the father would be so happy about it that they failed at something. When they got older is when they understood. The father was not after making fun of them because they failed he was after making them try something new without fearing failure so this girl would go and try out basketball and fail and laugh about it and say oh well at least i tried something new that i never would have done tomorrow she'll do tennis and fail maybe again and she'll be like at least now i have the experience about tennis and i know one or two things about it and the fear of failure continued to leave them until now she became a risk taker who now invested in business and now the business is working for her she's a millionaire uh, in the u.s um, because of business and she's in her 20s and so failure Take it as an opportunity to learn, to have a new experience. And when you fail, always look for the lesson in the failure because lessons come packaged as failure. It's okay to feel bad about it. It's okay to feel, ah, how could I fail in that, you know? But you come out of that after you are emotionally stable, ask yourself, now, from all of that, what lesson can I draw from that failure? 
And so when you come with that lesson, then that lesson, you are better than you were yesterday. So the next time you do the same thing, you won't have the same pitfall as you did yesterday. So tomorrow, as you are better, you'll make maybe another slighter mistake and you learn from it and get better. And then when you go to the next time, you'll make an even slighter mistake. So you're continuing to uh, gain mastery. Uh, always ask, what is the lesson? Uh, what can I learn from this? What can I take home from this? What is the lesson in this? And there's always, always, always a lesson. So it just takes emotional intelligence. You go through the emotions. When the emotions go back to, to level, to normal, at least you can now think clearly. Ask yourself, so what have I learned from that? What mistake did I make? And how can I uh, not fall into the same mistake even later? A real failure you see the really bad aspect of failure is when people now give up so you fail once you fail twice and then the third time you're like I'm never trying this again I've already failed um, real failure is giving up but when you fall you rise again you dust yourself you learn you move forward you still haven't failed you're still continuing to do so to learn and to grow fail at something often it is a reward that you tried, it is a record that you tried something new. When you fail at something, uh, you have tried something new and you have conquered the first fear that people usually have is the fear of failure. That is why people say beginning is halfway done. So that means when you start, even if you fail and it's something you don't even know about, yani kitu uko inje, aujuangi sana mambo yake, but you feel you would like to try, just try it. You have conquered the first fear, which is the fear of failure. And so that is the downfall of many people. I had nurses talking about being asked what are the, the lessons that people la say that they have learned just before they die, what do they regret? And one of the things people regret the most is not trying something they really wanted to try. If it is a business they w wanted to start, they regret not starting that business. If it is, um, you know, traveling to a new country and they feared that I will empty my whole bank account for this, but they really, really wanted to do it, that is, those are the things that they, they um, regret. It is not doing what they wanted to do and felt because of fearing the failure that would come with it, that could come with it. But sometimes we forget that you could try something and it succeeds. So every time ask yourself, what if it succeeds? What does that mean for me? Number one, you won't have the guilt that you never tried. And number two, if it succeeds, then it's going to open a whole new world of opportunity for you. If it fails, you have learned a lesson and you will learn probably, probably this is not my area. Maybe this other one is my area. And that is how you either gain mastery in one area or you pick and choose until you find your area where you can gain mastery. So I just wanted to talk to us, especially young people about failure. Don't um, go with the vibe for social media. Social media shows us that nobody fails except ourselves. Everyone's life is perfect. But social media is just a highlight reel of people's lives, the highlights of their lives. When I go to a hotel, that one time in three months is when I post. So in your mind, you think I'm the only person who doesn't go to hotels. Kumbe, maybe your life is much better than, than the person that you are envying. So failure is an important part of success. Embrace it, important, learn from it. Uh, implement what you've learned and try again the next time, implementing what you've learned and God will bless you. Remember to subscribe. We have much more content for you as a young person to encourage you, to grow you spiritually, mentally, business-wise, everything that pertains to a young person in this generation. We are here to help you. We also want to bring to your attention that we have a youth interaction, the Roy's Youth Interaction, coming up on the 19th of March this year 2022 it will be a saturday and we bring young people together from all walks of life uh, all denominations of churches everywhere we come together and we sit down and we discuss a topic together so we are the ones giving the answers and asking the questions to each other and what is the topic of this interaction toxic masculinity and toxic femininity 
So this is a wonderful topic of something that is really affecting young people today. We have forgotten our roles um, in terms of gender and we have taken up toxic gender uh, enforcement. Let me, let me call it that. So we want to learn from one another about toxic masculinity and toxic femininity. There's only a charge of for each young person that only caters for the snacks and the food that you will eat it will be at milele resort in nakuru city so you're very welcome bring a friend let us learn from each other let us grow and interact and build a strong body of young people in the body of christ who will be a good influence and good company to one another god bless you i will see you another time right here on the royce continue enjoying our content and remember to subscribe, it is absolutely free of charge. See you later.